Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Mario Kart Tour. The vacation starts now, I suppose. Funnily enough, I just went on vacation for like a week and a half or something and uh, it was pretty fun. Went to Florida and sold it in Disney World, so it was all cool. Was visiting family and stuff. And then we went to Disney. Okay, it's gonna take a while to start up, apparently, isn't it? Okay, give it a second here. Bro. No, I don't think I have the Rosalina. Okay, I'm gonna just close this out and then get it back up. Maybe it'll work. Oh, yeah, there it goes. There it goes. We're, we're all good. The new track looks sick as heck, though, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get it started, bro. All I wanted to do was put my phone, like, brighter. And then that happened. Come on, okay. There we go. Yeah, okay, I think I have, like, a week to beat this, so... I'll have time. Oh, summer challenges too. What do we got here? Oh, Denny Kong. I mean, some, I'm kind of, kind of not speaking right. But I meant Dixie Kong. That's what I meant. I'm not silly right now. Damn, I didn't make it soon enough for ranking though. Did I? Oh wait, no. I have literally one day. Well, I guess that means that, um, doing the ranking stuff will be easier. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I already know how good everyone is right now. Let's see what they got in the shop for us, and then we'll get started here. Sure. Also sure. Okay. Use that quick ticket. It's all mid, bruh. Okay. But, mid enough for me to buy everything, like usual, because I'm silly and I just buy random crap that doesn't matter. Okay, that's good enough. Go. Okay. Also, uh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna buy some tickets, too. Oh, Rosalina Balloon, that's cool. Okay, and let's get started, fellas! Bruh, Daisy me too. I mean, it does look nice. Damn here, bro. 
is not Yoshi anymore. Thank you. It's good to see you too. I guess it is fitting that I start with Baby Park since, you know, I went to, I went to Theme Park to Relevant. Capo. Okay, we got Lemmy here. Bro, that looks like Super Nintendo World in the back of Peach Circuit. I don't know. Oh, Athens Dash is back. Okay, I finally get to use Monkey again. Monkey! Let's use him. Yeah, sure, why not? Again, yeah, sure, why not? Reject the study, embrace the monkey. Bro, that guy's name is just e. Okay, Athens Bash is cool. I like this track a lot. Speaking of Athens and other things related to Greece, I was surprised Epcot did not have many, like, you know, Roman Greece kind of, like, you know, stuff. Uh, Dragon Ball did have a on sale, guys. But anyway, yeah, like, I mean, you'd think that would be kind of, like, you know, a good place to go for, like, Terms of representing countries as well, because this is cool, you know, Greece is cool, and you could just have stuff based on like Hercules or whatever. It would make no sense, but I guess they didn't have room in the park for more countries or something. I don't know if they've been adding new sections or not, so I, I don't know how that works at all. Probably it's hard to find space for all that stuff now. The country is in a spot work pretty cool though. It's like doing it Mario Kart Tour, different tracks to Mario Kart Tour in real life, because you just see like pretty generalized version of each country and you get to see some cool stuff that looks a lot like that location. Pretty neat. You get to see a little bit of everything of the world. It's a neat park. And I went on like two of the rides and they were pretty cool. The Guardian's ride was peach. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, um, GBA Peach Circuit. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Surf Master. Max Power. Oh yeah, this is a new. I just haven't seen it in a while. It looks like it was designed with Mario Kart uh, 8 anti gravity Do any of the booster uh, booster pack courses have any um, freaking anti gravity? And by the way, like, is it featured in any track? Uh, I mean, at least the early ones, they didn't have any, as far as I know. I don't know though, because I. Still haven't tried it at all, but I will eventually since I get it free with the Nintendo Online. So it's like a perk, you know? It's something I can do with it. Yo! Okay, that's pretty cool. Speaking of Nintendo Online, I should I should totally just stream Mario Kart Super Circuit. That'd be pretty cool. Of course. Cool. 
question mark. No, actually, I probably wouldn't like it that much. But, it would be funny. It would be funny. That's why. Oh, Bangkok. I haven't seen that location in a while. Um, Ramby again. He's kind of a goat, not gonna lie. Not a rhino. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, um... Billy Bob. Yeah. Oh yeah, they also did not have an India thing at that time. I was like, bro, really? India is like a pretty big country. One of the more, like, major ones. I don't know, man. They had an India, like, you know... They had a, they, for the countries that they don't really have anything for, they have like little stamps on them. That they throw food in, but like, come on, bro. This is where the traffic is? This is also where the traffic is. This is where the traffic is. This is where the British stole all of our stuff. That's from the whatever. It's a funny. It's a funny. By the way, Spider-Verse 2 is on digital now, if you want to watch it. If not, you'll have to wait a few more months for it to be on Netflix. It's a fairly long track, not to lie. Squeaky I can't speak right now. Squeaky clean sprint! Wiggler egg. And aurora cloud. Or balloons. Why are they called balloons? Why not call them clouds? Yeah, I was just doing something wrong. So I was doing something else. Yo. You sit it here. Pretty good. Okay. Hold on. We're gonna 
about wiggling and jiggling and saying that made sense with this game that came out. I was just like swooping around. Probably the Mario was up there. Reminds me of those freaking dark clouds with like random video game fans they call it for. I forgot the brand, but they're pretty funny. They have like spiral ones, crash. Metal Gear, Yakuza, Sonic, Ducks, like, and all their random things. They're pretty funny. Yeah, this track is pretty sick. I love it. I like tracks where you're, like, super small in a, like, normal area. I like being tiny in a normal being tiny in a regular kind of world is really cool. Damn. Bro, is that the freaking post arena wedding man? Why is that insane? We're all lost in a wedding line. Also, who's leaving their sponge around like this? Also, why is there toilet flooding? And why are we going on the toilet water like that? That's kind of disgusting, bro. Not so squeaky clean if I'm going through toilet water, bro. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, that's a lot of coins. Okay, Paris Promenade. Speaking of Paris, the Paris section in Epcot was pretty cool. See, I get to say all of these things because they're kind of relevant. There you go. Um, there's like a Beauty and the Beast show that made LeFou and showed like a hidden goat to the story. It was kind of funny. Um, I had like the Ratatouille ride. The Ratatouille ride was pretty cool, not gonna lie, but the, the wait times were kind of crazy, right? I don't know if I'd say it's like worth it. The wait was like worth it, but it was a good ride, nonetheless. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the Yoshi egg. I was, I was mad though, because I didn't see anything related to Hunchback of Notre Dame, and that was like one of my favorite movies where I was like, bro, you can't do this. Yeah, the Ratatouille ride is pretty cool. I don't know if I should like, spoilers on the ride, but I mean, you might probably aren't going to go there anyway, so, um, basically it's like a dark ride with 3D elements. It has uh, 3D glasses you ride, that you have, and like, have a bunch of screens with different speeds going on, and you're just like, you're the size of like a ride, and you're like going through different places, or like, you're on the movie, I guess. So it's like it's moving through the scene. I mean, they aren't scenes from the actual movie, but like, you see the, like different locations. Stuff. And like, Chef Skinner's like chasing you at one point. It's pretty crazy. And it is pretty cute overall. So I think that I liked the Mickey Mouse dog ride better. That was in uh, the Disney Hollywood movie. That one was pretty cool. It was like a living cartoon made. Like, the environments were like cartoonish, but like also 3D. And like the characters were like moving around like everywhere. With like different, there was like screens moving across. Yeah, it was just, it's hard to describe, but it was really cool. Yeah, right? Yeah, Ratatouille is a good movie. I didn't really like it as much as a kid, because like, I don't know. I just didn't really click with me, but eh, I can appreciate it more now. It's pretty cool. It's a fun movie. Um, we got Poochie. Yeah, Poochie. Why not? Screw Donkey Kong. We're using him. I mean, the 
does it matter which one I use? Both of them suck. Bruh, it's like when you're sick and then you have something to watch. Okay. Should be a random stream game at one point. But I don't know where I fit that in the lore. Bruh. I mean, fair enough. I don't know about sick movies, but there was stuff that I would always play when I was sick. Like freaking Baby Looney Tunes. And I was like, bro, I freaking hate Baby Looney Tunes. Don't play Baby Looney Tunes. No, I don't know if Baby Looney Tunes is actually that bad. But kid me, it was not impressive. Because, I mean, they were playing freaking Baby Looney Tunes when I was home. So I had have nothing cheap to watch. Although, like, Dis Playhouse Disney had, like, stuff like Aladdin, um, the animated series play, and I never really watched that in my life. It was pretty cool. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I sometimes I'd see, like, episodes of, like, Scooby-Doo on Culture Network early in the day. And, like, they had that one series, like, Google School or something, I think. Where there was like no Velma or Fred or Daphne, and they just had Scooby and Shaggy, and then there were some random kids, monster kids that were at some school or something. That one was already, I don't really remember a lot about it, but it was like cute, I think. Oh, bro, the alarm clock, the Viddy Bug, Viddy Bug, Viddy Bug, Viddy Bug? I don't remember their name. Oh yeah, Crypto the Super Dog. I do remember seeing that sometimes. That was a fun show. Like, not the best or anything, but it was alright. I, I, I kind of like that one. Oh yeah, I didn't even... I completely forgot to mention that I'm playing a Sia the Goat right now. He's real. And he's coming to you live. Why is their bathroom so messy, bro? Yeah, Crypto Super the Super Dog was a cool show. Wait, when did I say B movie? I don't know. Um I have seen B movie at some point though. It was on like HBO or whatever. I never saw it in like theaters or on DVD, but I've seen it on TV like a long time ago. 
Um, but it's audio. I had a phase in like 20, like 13 or something where I just watched random movies I hadn't seen yet before on like on demand or something. Like, I saw like Shrek Forever After. I didn't like it back then, but I like it more now. It's a cool movie. Um, I saw like Kung Fu Panda. Honestly, I don't really remember anything about it, but I, I never saw Kung Fu Panda when it came out. And I still want to watch it again and again because I feel like I like the movie. I just never really watched it, watched it. I don't know. Yeah, Trek Forever After is actually a pretty peak movie. And it's a good, you know, finale of the series. I don't know if I'd say it's as good as Trek 2, but I'd say I'd knock it a little bit above Trek 1. I don't know. Even though Trek 1 was the great start of the franchise. Like, I don't know. Track 4 is a strong finale. And I hope Track 5 is pretty happy. See, like, Track 5, I don't mind happening. Cause, like, it's been so long since the last one. And, like, other than the one movie, which we don't name, all the movies were pretty strong overall. Toy Story 5? What the hell are you gonna do with that, bro? I, I literally hate them so much. But I'm still going to watch it anyway, because I, I don't freaking know. I'm just curious to see how much they screw it up, I guess. Or how much they somehow don't screw it up. But I'm not really watching the movie in good faith. I don't think it's gonna be good, but... I want to see how much of a string like it is. Like, bro, Toy Story 5. I'm gonna kill them. Bruh, Master Tigress. True. Capo. She's pretty epic. Nintendo. -sh. Okay, when are my coins gonna run out? I need more time here. Apparently. Kikuchi, Mario, oh, Mushroom Brain, that's right, I forgot that was that in here. Yeah. I love the song even though. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> I'm glad they kept the bus design for the kind of funny. That way. I like it better. Why is it not letting me go? Holy crap, bro, that was the most epic first place win I've ever seen. Like, I was doing a mini turbo behind the one, um, I think that's what it's called, mini turbo? I don't know. I did mini turbo, and then I threw up a bomb, and then it ended like that, and I was like, boom. I hit Hodette right before she reached the finish line, it was crazy, bro. That, somebody clipped that, bro. That was, that was insane. Oh, spiny. Damn, I am not getting green bird opera. Oh well. We tried. 
Oh yeah, I won 549 freaking cool tokens, though. I'll use those real quick. Yeah, let's see what we get in this pipe. Ooh, boom! I made a lot of tokens actually, I didn't even really notice. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Well, until next time. Thank you all so much for watching this stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out the YouTube channel. Link is on the sidebar. I post all my Twitch bots there. Got a lot of other Mario content. I got Sonic the Hedgehog, Kingdom Hearts, Pikmin 4, and a whole lot more. So if that sounds pretty cool, feel free to check it out. Anyway, have yourselves a fantastic day, and take care.